Hey everybody, I'm going to try this again. I had an idea that I was uh, wanting to play around with and it didn't quite work as well as I was hoping due to the different types of cameras that are being used, but uh, what I was going to say was, hey, check it out, I got my old camera working again, you can get higher quality video from me. My older camera being my uh, little BB cam here. Problem is, uh, with that camera, is that I thought it wasn't working with my laptop, I thought my laptop had gone bad because to transfer the files from the camera to the um, laptop, I need to use my four pin firewire, four pin to four pin firewire connection cable. And when I plug my camera into my laptop, nothing happens. So I thought, oh crap, my laptop's gone stupid as far as that goes, so I can't use it anymore. But then I t uh, plugged my uncle's camera, which is the one I'm recording right now with, into my computer, and lo and behold, quality. So it was working. So I realized that the uh, little port in the back here you see that right there that little tiny thing um, it went bad once I don't know for those of you that follow me on YouTube you saw it happen and I was using a couple shitty cams trying to resolve it and I sent the camera to a uh, to a camera repair shop and they fixed it but apparently it went bad again and I'm not spending another two hundred to three hundred dollars just to get that stupid port fixed not to mention the fact that I have to find a place around here that would do it uh, what the video was about what I was recording was that I had a couple things I wanted to say number one I hope you all enjoyed my last video. It's kind of silly, I know, but uh, that particular premise is something I've done many different times with many different people in terms of uh, uh, helpful hints on how to live a better life. I always end up doing something like that where I'll do a 15-minute, you know, set them up, get them to breathe, stretch, and then at the very end say something silly. You know, hit your frame with a pillow or go eat a sandwich or something, you know, just to sort of liven, liven up the mood and make them feel better. Anyway! What I was talking about was uh, my trip to Barnes & Noble the other day. I went with my uncle because my uncle uh, needed a new book to read. He just got done the uh, fourth book. Uh, uh, for those of you that are familiar with uh, Jim Butcher, who's the author of the Dresden Files, the Dresden books. Uh, he also writes another series, uh, which is the, the Furies series. And uh, I didn't read that series. I don't like that series very much. I tried reading the first book and just couldn't get into it. But um, because of the fact that I introduced my mother to the Dresden books, she then went and see, so went to see what else Jim Butcher wrote, and she found out he wrote the the, uh, the Fury series. So he picked that. So she picked that up. I introduced my mother to the Dresden Files. I introduced my uncle to the Dresden Files. She introduced him to the uh, Fury series. And I myself had just finished reading the Assassins trilogy, which is a, a, a series of books. Into the Shadows, Way of the Shadows, and something else of the Shadows by a, a writer named uh, Brent Weeks. Very good. It's not um, excellent. I mean, it's a good story, but, uh, you know, there are some bits and pieces of it that are just sort of eh. All in all, it was a good, good read. Uh, so there we are at Barnes & Noble. And, boy, this is a long story, and I'm not really telling it very well. I apologize. This is the second time I've done it today. Um, while I was there, I noticed, have you ever been to a Barnes & Noble or a Borders or some other major book seller? Um, have you ever been over to the, the magazine section? they got like, you know, a couple aisles of magazines. Just every magazine that you can imagine. Magazines about photography and about modeling and about computers and all kinds of stuff. And they also got these like, you know, uh, I don't want to say fetish magazines because that gives the wrong um, idea. But, you know, they're very, you know, they're very specific to particular small niches, you know, like uh, um, uh, action figure collecting or train model building, things like that. I noticed that they don't have a magazine that's dedicated to the new communication media, the new social networking media. You know, how come they don't have a, a, a magazine that talks about all the latest trends on YouTube and vlogger heads and, and all the other uh, video sites or, you know, sites like... Uh, Facebook and, and, and MySpace and stuff like that. I mean, I know that they have magazines like Wired and, and they like to do articles about it, but there isn't a magazine that's dedicated for the, you know, the, the social networking connoisseur. I know it's a niche group. I talked to Frank a little bit about this today. But I think that it would, uh, you know, I think that that would be something to be really interesting because then, they, you know, they could go into the different websites and see what the latest trends are and um, follow along to the more popular users of each site and talk, talk to them and see how how it is they come up with their ideas and stuff, and really just sort of expand on what social network media is about. Um, Fra uh, Frank's idea was a website dedicated to it, so a website about websites, uh, which may work, but once again, somebody actually has to go to all those websites and do that. Uh, anyway, uh, that, that was just one thing. But the other thing 
that uh, happened at Barnes & Noble, boy, this is really fucking long, um, was that uh, while there with my uncle, one of the Barnes & Noble employees, a very nice young lady, uh, was helping my uncle look for a new series, and she and I were sort of chatting while he was looking, and we had sort of a, a, a rapport going back and forth. And my uncle's like, you know, as we were leaving, he's like, oh, you should really go talk to her. She was hitting on you and stuff, flirting with you. Now, it was at that point that I realized that I didn't have the capacity to do so because of my inability to make small talk. You know, the exchange between her and I was, was genuine and natural because it was part of what we were both talking about. But walking up to this woman who I don't really know very well and going, hey, you want to go get a cup of coffee? It just, you know, it doesn't really work well with me. It's not, it doesn't jive as far as my brain is concerned, which is a shame. I will say that, however, that I did go back and I tried to uh, use the circumstance of me having to go pick up a book that I um, had ordered from my uncle, um, basically the first book in the Assassin's Trilogy, because uh, I got mine on my um, my e-book. I've got a, a Kindle reader on my Apple, my um, iPod, uh, iPhone, uh, and I was reading them there, and then I figured I'd get the books for him so he could actually have them. So I, I used that as a reason to go back to the store, and I was going to, you know, I was thinking, okay, well, I will just thank her for the kindness of showing my uncle some books and giving him some suggestions and hopefully strike up a conversation that way. I figured it might be a, gen a, 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 a genuine approach that wasn't small talk. You know, it was relating to the previous conversation, and hopefully we could pick up from there. Uh, but she wasn't there. However, I did find out her name was Jen. Now, I can't guarantee that anything else will come from that. I'll bound, I'm bound to go back to the store. Uh, and uh, see if she's there again and sort of wave at her. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do because at this point, by the time I see her again, the thank you for uh, helping my uncle is going to be a bit old considering that I already had talked to two of her co-workers to find out what her name was and also be sure to push her along a thank you very much so my angle was sort of used up when she wasn't there. So yeah, that's it pretty much. That was the story that I wanted to tell you guys the second time and yes, this was very long and I apologize that I'm babbling. Uh, so now let's see if we can't get this sucker onto my computer. And then from there, wow, was I really looking at the fucking camera that, or the screen that much? Um, and then from there, you guys can watch and either ignore it or comment or what have you. So, until next time, this is Raven Laugh saying something, 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 pithy, something, something. <laughs>